All right, guys. Hi, uh, Weekend Modder here um, with a video update for some pretty significant changes to our website and store. Um, what you can see in the background behind my image here is the new store.weekendmodder.com. Uh, I also want to comment. This is kind of a big deal because this is the first time that I've ever uh, like spoken directly to a camera uh, in order to address. Uh, what's grown to be a really sizable audience. You guys are awesome. I appreciate the subscribers. We're at like almost 4,000 subscribers. And uh, I need to be more respectful of that and give you guys some better content. So I, I, uh, I'm, I'm working on getting uh, out some ideas to push an entire weekly series um, of tutorial videos and stuff. And then some like kits that will be sold on the website to go hand in hand with those. So if you want to RGH a particular console, you'd watch a particular individual video that was tailored to go with a kit that would be affordably priced and on the website. So this is the website. Um, right now it's set up such that there's only pre-modded consoles and I do only have the one, you know, Corona type consoles in stock. And then we also have uh, miscellaneous Xbox tools. So this is where other stuff and that title can change. And then in the custom controllers area here, um, I've got set up so you could buy uh, for 21 bucks one of these used but still in good condition um, Xbox controllers and have the LED each quadrant uh, the color customized to exactly where you want it to be. Um, so the thing that you don't see on the menu right now that will be there will be send-in services but you can find the product if you just search for RGH in the search bar here. So the RGH send-in service this is going to be the new method so right now what we use is sendin.weekendmodder.com and then we have this uh, JTAG RGH service and this is how I do all the reservations is through this older site here but moving to this site it's going to be kind of cool um, what it's going to allow us to do is to let the customer make the choice on how they want to pay and give a little bit more flexibility so most of this information is all the same as what was on the other send in I'm not really changing anything there there's still some how to help determine you know whether your console can be modded but the big difference here is the these how would you like to pay options so if we can focus on that particular part um, these are the ones that that I'm concerned about that you guys uh, understand um, the how would you like to pay so first option is pay 75 in cash mailed with the console and you can see here that it indicates that it will actually subtract $75 from the price. That's because by default this item costs $75. And that's what the send in service costs. But if you're going to pay cash, then when you check this box, the minus 75 plus the 75 of the item means that on the website, it's not going to charge you anything to check out because you're going to send cash with the console. Um, the pay 75 via any credit card or debit card paid in full it doesn't affect the price at all so that would mean when you check out with this you're actually right now as you buy it before you've sent me the console you would be prepaying this seventy five dollars and then when I get the console I would RGH it and then turn it around without having to wait on you to pay it uh, and then the third and final option is if you're a little cautious and that's totally understandable and you'd rather wait till you see the proof video before you make payment you can totally do that check this box and the website won't charge you anything it'll do that minus 75 so the checkout on the website will be free and then you will pay ten dollars more um, but you will pay eighty five dollars but you will only be asked to pay after the console has been received after it's been modded and after I've posted your proof video to uh, YouTube so then you would be sent a separate link for how to check out and pay that $85. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the big thing that's changing with Send In services. So eventually, Send In Weekend Modder will go away. It will just completely redirect to store.weekendmodder and look for some other additional new content coming from me soon. Thanks, guys.